Hi guys, welcome back to our class. Today's video, we're going to learn about how to do an online survey. In this lesson, you should be able to create an online survey form and disseminate an online survey data. But before we start, what is an online survey? An online survey is a study that aims to gather data to get the particular view, belief, or opinion of a group of respondents about a specific issue or topic. In this video, I'm going to share to you how to make an online survey using Google Form. Google Form is a free online tool from Google which allows users to create forms, surveys, and quizzes as well as to collaboratively edit and share the forms with other people. Now, let's move on and how to make an online survey. First step is to navigate to Google Forms or you can just click the Google Apps here and scroll down to find the Google Forms. Once you see the Google Forms, click that and it will lead you to a new tab. In this tab, you can see a blank where you can start a new form or you can also see here the templated gallery and also the recent forms that you have made. I want you to click the blank to start a new form. Once you click the blank, it will lead you to this tab which says Untitled Form. So the second step is to name your survey. You can also add a description if you want or if you want to name the Google Form here for your own reference, click Untitled Form in the top left corner to edit. So here, I'm just going to name this form into internet survey and I'm going to add a description like, please answer the following questions. Once you're done, tap on untitled question and here you can write your question. For example, since this is the first question, I'm going to ask first the respondent's name. Beside the question, you will see the multiple choice, wherein if you click the drop down, you can see other options for how your question will be answered. If you select short answer and paragraph, it will give recipients a blank field to fill in. If you select multiple choice, it lets users select one answer from a series of options, while checkboxes allow users to select multiple answers. If you click the drop down, it will give the recipients a field to click, which reveals a menu of answers. If you click the linear scale, it allows users to answer by selecting a rating from a range such as 1 to 5. And the last but not the least, the date and time. It allows users to select date or time. Alright, so in the first question, I'm going to select short answer. So the recipients can write their names in the blank. Now I'm going to click the required here just to make this question a mandatory, okay? Now, we also have here other buttons like duplicate if you want to duplicate the question or you can delete this question, so click delete. And also beside here, we have six buttons that has different function. The plus button lets you add another question. The second button will let you import questions from your existing files. The TT button lets you add a section title and a description. The fourth and fifth buttons, which is this two, will let you add image and videos. And the last but not the least, the two triangles icon here allows you to break your survey up by section. 
So let's say I'm going to add a new question. I'm just going to click the plus button. Now you can see here the same layout from what we did earlier with the first question. So again, just write here your question and when you're done, just click the drop down arrow near the check boxes if you want to select other option of how your question to be answered. So here I click check boxes to know which of the options do the respondents have. Once you're done, click the option so you can add your options. Once you're done adding the options, do not forget to select or click the required button here so that this question will be required to answer. Now, if you want to add another question, just click again the add question here. So in this question, I choose the type of question which can be answered by multiple choice. So here I'm just adding the choices and the respondent should answer only one answer. And do not forget to click the required button here. Let's say for example, you want to add a picture to this question. So you just need to click the gallery button or the image button. So here you can see options on how you can insert an image. I just choose the Google image search and search for the picture or image that you want to add. Once you're done selecting the picture, click insert and it will appear right after this question. Let's say for example, I'm already done with this section and I want to add another section for this survey. So you just need to click the add section button here and it will show you another section for this survey. But in the survey, I'm not going to add another section. So I will just delete this part. Okay, let's say for example, you're done with the questions here. So all you need to do is to check the buttons up right here. So this paint button will let you uh, change the theme of your survey. For example, here, the default color is purple but you can um, choose whatever color you like so let's say for example i'm going to click green and this part of the survey will turn into green and this button will be the preview so when you click this i button you will see the preview of your survey and now this will be the respondents view once they receive the survey form. All right, so let's say for example, you are ready to disseminate your online survey. All you need to do is to click the send button here and this send form will appear right in front of you. Do not forget to click or check the collect email address checkbox here. Then after that, you should type the accurate email address of the recipients here. You can also fill in the subject line and message here. And do not forget to check the include form in email box to zip the form in the file. Once you're done, click on the send command to send the file. So once you disseminate the online survey and the recipient receive your survey, this will appear to their emails. Once they click the fill out the form, they can now answer the survey. Once they're done answering the survey, um, this is optional, but they can click the send me a copy of my responses so they can receive the copy of their responses and of course the submit button here once they click submit this will appear in their screen uh, your response has been recorded 
or they can also click the submit another response if they want to submit another response now going back to our form you can see here the responses it has already one response so when you click that you can see here the respondent data so in this tab you can view who among your recipients have already filled up the form and you can also view the total number of responses and analysis all right so we're done Here's the summary of the steps of how to make an online survey and how to disseminate the survey. that's it for today guys i hope you enjoy this video and i will be back with another tutorial so yeah thank you for watching